better stay on board should you ever hear the international emergency alarm. All right, let this commence the day one vlog, you guys. Oh, I can prop you up on this little tripod. This is the white outfit. We're gonna go to the sail away party, which is Marcus Schultz, he's been on, and then Joel Corey will be on. There's also gonna be like a big Groove Cruise um, photo. I already got tagged with this ready to ship <laughs> sticker. Um, but yeah, they, they have like super cute swag and everything for us. This is gonna be like a content creator marathon because I have to be like live posting some stuff. So even now, like I was just trying to post a TikTok and it's not posting. Um, so I'm not used to this, but it's gonna be good. But we have a busy night ahead of us, so we're gonna go enjoy the sail away, do the sunset, and then come back, get ready for the nighttime, and get rocking and rolling. This is Groove Cruise. I'm already noticing some interesting differences between when I went on Holy Ship to Groove Cruise. All good things, all good things. <laughs> it's a similar ship, it's a big ship. And then the crowd, the vibes, all 10 out of 10. I got a little overstimulated there for a second, but we're doing good. It's going to be a good night. Got lots of good music ahead and lots to explore. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me. They have like one of those like four person. Have like 445 with like we're setting sail. They have like everyone down Potus Rolita Couture collab. This evening is You Are the Universe theme, so it's kind of like space theme. So we got the Lunatic Space Gems wearing this set, and then I have these bell bottoms from Amazon. I'm a little hungry. It's 8:30, so we're gonna go get some food, and then we have the nighttime sets for tonight which we will see how long we last before we come take a power nap. There might be a power nap involved before Gem and Tori's like 4 a.m. set, which is out on the main deck. Um, so we got a long night ahead of us, but it's gonna be a good night. Gonna go get some food and see where the night takes us. <laughs> First meal, first dinner of the weekend.
Is that a Mario Kart? Oh my god. I apologize for the day one vlog being so short. <laughs> to be honest, I thought we were going to wake up and be able to go to Gem and Tori and then do, it was Ranger Trucko back to back, um, Kyle Walker. But alas, we did not wake up. And it's so funny because I woke up at 2 a.m. And I was like, hmm, I think we went to bed. At, like, we were in bed around like 11 or midnight. I did not sleep well the night before, so I was also feeling worried because of my workshop the next day. My workshop was at 10 a.m. <laughs> so I was like tossing and turning because I was so afraid of sleeping through my alarm anyway. I woke up at 2 a.m. and I was like, you know what? Like I could go back out there. And then I was like, no, like we're not gonna go back out there. Um, and then I fell back asleep, still was kind of tossing and turning. I honestly could have just gotten up at that point because I didn't sleep great anyway. But yeah, the first day, that's why it's a little bit chaotic um, the first day because I honestly got super overwhelmed. Um, there was just like a lot of people and it was just like, we're all kind of corralling into these spaces. We're getting used to the boat. I feel like when I went on my like regular cruise last year, um they they like dripped out you know people coming on but everyone on groove cruise is just so excited to be there of course we have separate check-in times and stuff but yeah from the moment we got onto the boat it was just kind of like chaotic so even when the virgin meetup happened we decided to not go to it because we just kind of needed a second to just like whew, like reground ourselves and everything and then the sail away party was fun and getting to watch the sunset and like leave the port was good and then um, a lot of people would be, probably be like, oh, you didn't see LPGOB, you didn't see Diplo, Vanessa. And it was kind of like, I had it in my Google Calendar how many times people had sets. LPGOB had three sets across the weekend. Diplo only had one, but I didn't really care to see Diplo anyway. <laughs> and then some other artists, they were playing multiple times throughout the weekend. So I also just didn't want to be planted at the theater stage for the whole night because we just got on the ship. So that's kind of why you see some clips of us walking around and checking out all of the stages, trying to get like our bearings basically. And so I think on that boat, decks nine through like 14 was like a lot of like people's like living quarters. Like there wasn't really much on those floors. But then from like deck five to deck eight, yeah, deck five to deck eight, that's where like a lot of the action was happening. And then deck 15 to deck 17. So that, that's kind of like the floors that we were playing on most of the time. 
Um, but yeah, you can kind of see the different areas and things. It's really cool to see how they transformed a lot of these places. Like, I'd be curious to see what this ship looks like without some of this production, to be honest. Like, I'm curious how much Groove Crews brought onto the ship, which I had heard from um, Jason, who is the owner of uh, Wet Travel and Groove Crews, that, that he had gone on to EDC. He saw some of the production that they had on there, and he was like, you know, we got to do it big for the 20th anniversary of Groove Cruise. And they really did a lot production-wise. So I, I'm curious how much of that was part of the cruise and how much was part of Groove Cruise bringing it. But yeah, needless to say, I'm so sorry for this day one vlog being short, but I promise you the rest of them are chaotic, filled with content, all of the things. Um, day one was just overwhelming and I honestly was tired and I was expecting to wake up <laughs> and do our sunrise set, but we did get some sleep on that first night. We probably needed that even though it wasn't the best of sleep for me. Um, so stay tuned for the rest of the vlogs and if you have any questions at any point as you are watching these vlogs, leave me a comment. I'm going to be doing a review and recap both on my blog, vibewithdate.com as well as my podcast, Let's Buy Podcast. So leave a comment down below if you have any questions as you're watching it. People are booking for Groove Cruise 2025. So if you're seeing this and you're like, oh my God, this looks so much fun, like get on it because it's gonna sell out. And the ship that it's on in 2025 is Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas, which is an even bigger ship. <laughs> and they're even like taking it to the next level. It's literally gonna be history in the making. So yeah. Get on that if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.